Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHut.com and I'm going to do a first impression gameplay video for Ragnarok, a free to play 3D MMORPG by Gravity. Now I'll spend about 5-10 minutes running around checking this game out and making some quick comments. If you guys want to play Ragnarok online or just learn more about it, check out our full review on MMOHut.com on the link on the right sidebar. Now as many of you know, this used to be a pay to play game and just now went free to play. And it likely did that because there are so many private servers out there that the official servers had to go free to play to compete. It's going Valkyrie right now. The, the free server is called Valkyrie. It, it is officially hosted by Gravity. Just go on the official Gravity forums to connect to it. Now, hold on. Let me just fix this real quick. I like my background. I want to see it. And I'll just log into my character over here. I just made a real a character real quick. I finished the tutorial. And the game uh, added a tutorial as well, which is pretty neat. It's well worth checking out because it only takes five minutes to do and it gets you, you know, a few levels and some basic equipment. I just brought myself to Prontera so I can show you guys that this game has a huge player base. And I would say that the free to play server, Valkyrie, for the game, actually has more players than the pay to play ones. Let's walk through Prontera over here, there's a boatload of people. Now, for many of you, this was probably your first MMORPG. It was one of my first MMORPGs. I used to play this on a private server years ago, and I played quite a bit. I like this loading screen. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of people playing this game very popular game now there are some major differences between the free-to-play version and the pay-to-play version you can, of course they're both hosted by gravity but in the free-to-play version the experience rate is set 100 percent while in the pay-to-play version it's 125 percent another thing is there are some increased death penalties for dying in this free-to-play version you actually lose three percent of your base experience every time you die and in the free to, in the pay-to-play one you only lose one percent and a bunch of items cost a lot more as well but you're going to want to play on the free-to-play server. There's very little benefit for playing on the pay-to-play one. At least I think so. Now, I'm a novice right now. You can see my character over here. Once I get to level 10, job level, I can actually advance to my first class. First class in the game are Swordsman, Mage, Archer, Merchant, Thief, and Acolyte. And there are a few other classes as well. Gunslinger, Taekwondo Kid, and Ninja, which are pretty new to the game. And I don't know too much about. I played this years ago on a private server. Now these lovable corings are still in the game, these cute monsters. Basically in this game you have a base experience and a job experience. So it's one of those games where you have two different levels going on at once. Two different XP meters. Base level basically, when it fills up you gain new stats, more HP and more SP. And when job level fills up you gain a skill point. Once you reach level 40 job points, you can get your second job advancement. And each of the first job advancements branch off into two other classes. And you can actually, once you reach level 100, you can actually transcend your class and start all the way back at level 1. And by doing so, you get a huge advantages. You can have access to the special class in the game, the second tier classes. You can you can do a lot more. And that gives the game an enormous amount of content. It'll keep you occupied for a very long time. And at the one times experience rate over here, it is pretty slow paced early on. Oh, not early on, throughout the whole game. Although I can't say that too badly because there are a lot of people in the game that reached max level. And that's after getting level 99. They restarted and got there again. Now, um, combat is pretty simple you, and movement's pretty simple. You move pretty straightforward with the point and click interface. Now, this game is very old, but the graphics actually aren't too bad and they really do hold their own against, I guess, some of the newer 2D, 2.5D games. And the benefit of a game like this is that it runs extremely well on older machines. This can run perfectly fine on a Pentium 3, no problem. And I actually used to play this on an old Pentium 3 when I first started playing Ragnarok. Let's kill some more fluffs over here, lunatics over here. Now you can continually attack a monster by holding control and left clicking on them. Now I actually started my character in Peon, so I had to run all the way to the front area to show you guys what that area looked like. And I just didn't want to record that because it was just me moving around. Now this game is very old now, but still has a huge player base, and I really like it. It was one of my favorite MMORPGs, and still is. I think if you haven't played Ragnarok Online, you're really missing out. It's definitely one of the premier free-to-play games out there. And Ragnarok Online 2 went open beta in Korea back in 2007, but unfortunately, it never really came out. It, was, it wasn't received too well, but just recently, uh, around December 2009, the guys behind Ragnarok, Gravity, announced that their Ragnarok Online 2 was actually almost done. So after like 5 plus years in development, this game is finally coming out. At least in Korea, so. Ragnarok fans in North America still have to wait though. 
Now, one of the major reasons I really like Ragnarok is that it has an enormous amount of content. Enormous. This will keep you occupied for a very long time. The guys behind the game, Gravity, have done a great job keeping it updated. Constant patches, constant updates. There's so many maps in the game now, so many dungeons, so many things to do. And each of the updates are called Episodes. Right now, I believe the Iro, which I'm on right now, International Ragnarok Online, is up to episode number 14 or 13. 13, I believe, at this point. I believe the Filipino version is a little bit further ahead, around 16. But, just Gravity has done a great job with this game. It's an old game, but they've kept it up to date, kept it fun, added lots of new items to the game, lots of new content. I've, I haven't even come close to exploring the whole map, but, you know, even when I used to play. Fill this poop over here. It's just, shell thing and they hatch into these butterflies now it, it is it does start off a little bit slow because you're playing as a novice early on and you don't have any real activatable skills until you get your first job advancement and you get your first job advancement when your job level gets level 10 and you complete the short quest one small con with this game and I don't maybe even a, a pretty big con is that quests never really played a big role in this game it's mostly a grind oriented game Although, Gravity has done a little bit to change that, they've constantly been adding new quests to the game. But the only thing quests really do are just means to get equipment. They're not really practical, practical ways to get uh, experience. There's a card system in the game as well, as I kill these monsters over here. These pourings. These purple blobs, cute purple blobs. They have a chance of dropping cards. In fact, every almost every monster in the game has a chance of dropping a card. And these cards can be equipped to socketed weapons. And the cards are enormously powerful. I mean... They're almost like game breakers how powerful they are, but they're so rare that, and incredibly valuable that if you get one, you're doing good. I believe the percentage chance to drop is under 0.01%, so you're going to have to kill like 5,000 monsters to get a card from that monster. Maybe even more. Now I'm having a hard time finding random monsters to kill outside, the, outside of town over here because they change the game a lot. This, this area used to be a big newbie area. But now they changed that because there's a lot of high level monsters running around over here in select spots. I don't know why. And they will one shot you. I started in Peon and I probably should have stuck, you know, stayed around there or near Alberta where there's lower level monsters to kill, but let's just walk around here. For PvP options, you have numerous stuff actually. There's a new, not new, but new compared to when I used to play the game. A PvP arena that almost functions like the arena in World of Warcraft in that. If you do well in the PvP arena, you win, you get these badges, these valor, these points, and you can trade those in for items. And there's also something called War of Imperium, which is one of, the, one of the most highly regarded features of Ragnarok. It's this big guild versus guild system, where guilds vie for control over castles, and it just it's just crazy because it's enormous, so many players fighting at once. It's a lot of fun, it's hard to explain, but it's well worth checking out. If you search YouTube for War of Imperium, you'll find some crazy videos about it. The game has these boss battles as well, called MVPs. Not really boss battles in that World of Warcraft style instance raid bosses, but they take a small party to kill or a medium sized party. And killing them can yield you great experience and nice rewards. Good items. But where this game really shines is its sheer amount of content. So many different maps to explore, so many different dungeons to explore. Crazy amount of content. You have to get to level 99 to really finish the game, and then it restarts all over again. And you, gotta, you gotta get there again. I guess it's kind of a cheesy way to extend the playtime for a game, especially an MMORPG like this, but frankly I like that because when I play an MMORPG and when I reach the top, I get kind of bored. I mean, there's only a few games I've actually reached the top of, but I like it when I feel like the, the top is always far away. Because when I start getting closer to it, I feel like I'm going to finish the game, there'll be nothing else to do. And once you get there, it's not just really doing the same thing over again because they are there are different classes. You can become a high warrior and then a high warrior becomes like a warlord or something else. I forgot the class name off the top of my head. Kill some more cute pourings. And for those of you that are used to playing on private servers, most of you have, I have. It's going to be a little bit hard to transition back into Iro because the experience rate is so slow. Um, one server I used to play on, you kill one of these pourings, you get to level, like level 70. Here, I'm only level 4 right now, base level. And I'm getting so little experience per kill. But, I mean, there's a lot of people on this server that are over level 90, so... It's more than possible to get high level on your own. Even on these servers. And one of my biggest complaints with a lot of the private servers were that... They just didn't have enough players. Here, there's a very large, vibrant community, very helpful community. 
I actually asked for help to get from Peon to Frontera, and I learned about a new feature called this map. Uh, this wasn't around back when I used to play, but it makes navigating the game world extremely easy. Because you can see exactly where you are and what connecting maps are near you. You do that by holding control and the tilt tilde key. Let's kill this pouring over here. And zoom in a little bit. When you level up, you get 5 status points. You can distribute to your stats, strength, agi, vit, int, dex, and luck. The few quests that there are in the game are actually really well translated. The game has a very high quality feel to it, even though it's an old game. The music is great, the interface is functional, gameplay is smooth, lots of content. Overall, I think it's a great game, but if you're looking for something that's more 3D, you may not like Ragnarok, but it's something that if I feel that if you haven't played, you should definitely check out. Check it out, otherwise you're missing out. But anyway guys, if you want to learn more about Ragnarok Online or just play it yourself, check out our full review on MMOHut.com on the link on the right sidebar. Later guys.